Is it difficult for Muslim to work in Japan? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are watching this channel for the first time, the name of this channel is Jalen. That is my kind of like a nickname uh, for YouTube. I, I think I started this YouTube channel about a year ago. And then uh, recently I restarted uh, making uh, contents about, especially about uh, the Islams as I converted to Islam uh, a few years ago if you're interested in why I converted into the Islam uh, there is another video so please uh, search my previous videos and then you can find a couple of relevant videos uh, which explain why I converted to Islam how Japanese think about think of Muslim in general so today I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, work, working environment in Japan to answer this question is it difficult for Muslim to work in Japan since I often get a question about like work in Japan is it difficult to work in Japan is it uh, how can people get the working visa in Japan etc so let me try to pick up one of the questions and since then, I got uh, many different types of questions on YouTube, uh, in the comment section, or on my Instagram. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in my uh, Instagram account, uh, where I'm posting the pictures, uh, videos uh, I take in Japan, uh, you can find my Instagram account in the comment section, comment area below. Uh, in, sorry, in the description area below. So uh, yeah, please check it out if you're interested in. Anyway, one of the top questions I often got is uh, the question related to work. Is it difficult to work in Japan? How, how people can get the working visa in for to work in Japan? Or what kind what type of job has a demand uh, in Japan market, etc. For the Muslim, uh, the people who are following Islam specifically or for those uh, who are following any types of religion. I'd like to answer this question, is it difficult for Muslim or people who are following any sort of uh, religion to work in Japan? Of course, it is very common nowadays that uh, people at the company uh, should not, is not supposed to discriminate, sorry uh, if I'm using the wrong word, but uh, discriminate people by their religions or like gender or age, right? And then it's same uh, in Japan, but uh, basically uh, it's not common to follow uh, religion for Japanese. It basically, it's not like consciously, it's not something uh, for Japanese to consciously think about respect other religions. So of course uh, the company is not checking uh, the religions when they hire people but you will be never asked uh, what kind of religions you are following uh, at the interview of course but uh, at the same time it doesn't mean uh, the company is paying attention uh, to the religions and the company is provide it doesn't mean the company is providing uh, the very well uh, the envir working environment uh, for those who are following uh, Islams or any type of religions. So, for Muslims specifically, uh, for example, usually uh, like the department store or any type of facility uh, accommodate like praying rooms for Muslim, right? Uh, so that the Muslim can play at the times they want to do. But of course, obviously, it's not. It's it's really a rare case for. Japanese companies are based in Japan to provide that kind of facilities. So you you might find uh, it's difficult to pray during the working hours. Yeah, there is no playing space. There is no like quiet space. Uh, there is no like place where you can sit on the floor. So yeah, I think that might be a, a problem for you to find. Uh, that kind of timing for you to play, pray. Of course, a few of the companies actually have the uh, praying, have the praying uh, space 
in their office. I know some of the companies, but yeah, it's it's quite rare case. So yeah, you may find it difficult to work in that kind of office space. And second point might be uh, like meals, uh, foods, especially for the lunch time. If you are watching the videos I uploaded previously, you may think I'm very concerning about the foods in general, <laughs> but yes, uh, I think during the very busy working times, uh, you probably want to have a sometimes quick lunch, or you, uh, at most I think you can just spend like for one hour, right, for the like lunch break. And then if you go to the most restaurants or uh, the cafeteria inside the office, uh, the foods there is basically like Japanese food or non-halal food. So you will tend to or you will need to uh, mostly have like Japanese noodles, uh, which is uh, like it's used a fish stock based soup. Uh, unlike uh, ramen, uh, it's, uh, that which is using like pork or chicken soup, and then uh, it's not halal, right? So yeah, the option of your lunch menu will be probably very limited, and a little bit difficult to take like well new balanced nutrition uh, at lunch. Yeah, even if you go to the convenience store, maybe you can get like salad, uh, vegetables, but if you want to like also have a soup, uh, like hot warm soups during winter time. Uh, most of the soup are using uh, some sort of meat uh, based ingredients. Yeah, so that's also one of the difficult part uh, for you to work in Japan, uh, maybe. Of course, uh, because of the COVID-19 uh, nowadays, uh, some of the companies asking employees to work from home, so it might not be a big issue these days. Yeah, but uh, it might be uh, better to keep it in your mind. So let me just uh, highlight it. So let me just pick it up as one of the uh, difficulties you might face. And what else? Yeah, I think language. <laughs> if you want to work for Japanese company in Japan, uh, I think the like Japanese language ability uh, would be probably must 90 in the 90% probability. Sometimes uh, the Japanese companies who are trying to be a like global company is not require, requiring a language ability. However, uh, still you need to communicate with Japanese employees who are not fluent in English and it's totally better for you to be able to speak Japanese. Uh, especially the like older generations uh, who is managing organization uh, is not are not fluent uh, to speak English, so yeah, language would be probably very difficult, or it, it could be advantage for you to speak uh, Japanese language. Fourth element, uh, this is not maybe the last point as well, but uh, it's not the difficulty specifically for the people who are following uh, some sort of religions, but like commuting hours is uh, way way longer than. Uh, times in other countries sometimes depending on the locations you are living you have to like uh, keep standing on the train uh, in the packed train uh, for like one hours one and a half hours and it could be very frustrating if you are coming from the company countries where you don't need to face uh, like commuting jam during the uh, rush hour time yeah, and also I think depending on the religions you are following or depending on the culture you are coming from, I think you have your own like holiday period. Uh, for example, for Muslim, I think uh, you guys have a, a Ramadan in May, and you want to have like end of the Islamic calendar year during I think August, right? Oh, uh, for those who are coming from uh, China, China have uh, your own Chinese have your own, or like Chinese New Year holiday in February, but uh, of course Japan has like Japanese calendar year, 
So basically,、uh, it may not be, you cannot be so flexible, sorry, they cannot be so flexible about when you can take holidays and they can take, you can take、uh, on leave and then when you want to do your like religious or cultural uh, uh, ceremonies uh, according to your culture or religious. I think those could be. Difficult points for Muslims to work in Japan. If you are not Japanese and working in Japan, please、uh, let me know your thoughts or please leave your comments.、Uh, I'm really looking forward to、uh, hearing your opinion as well. By the way,、uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm also making a post、uh, on Instagram,、uh, so please、uh, follow it if you're interested in the pictures or videos、uh, taken in Japan. I hope you enjoyed this video and、uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great evening. Bye bye.